Let's continue defining keyboard shortcuts, and in this lesson, we will focus on those keyboard shortcuts that allow us to edit code faster, and the first key combination I'm going to define in here will be used to open context menu. I'm using Alt plus Enter, and let's also specify additional condition so that this keyboard shortcut will only take effect if our focus is located on the file itself. As we know, to open up context menu, we can use right button of a mouse, but if we're doing this many times in a day, using keyboard shortcut will save us lots of time. So when we press Alt-Enter, as we can see, context menu is open. The next keyboard shortcut is going to help us duplicate the current line and place the new copy on the next line. I'm using command J. The command name is copy lines down action. And as an additional condition, we will specify that this command should take effect only when our focus is located on the file. And if we'll switch over to the file with the code, and in here, for example, I'd like to duplicate line number six, I just press command J, and as we can see, as many times I press this keyboard shortcut, as many line copies will be created. Let's switch over to configuration file and define the next keyboard shortcut. I'm using Alt Command K to run formatting in the currently open file. The command name will be format document, and as for additional condition, here will be a pretty long condition, so I'm not going to explain every piece of this condition in detail, but the main idea of this condition is to restrict usage of this keyboard shortcut only when our focus is located on the file itself, just like previous two keyboard shortcuts. So now let's switch back to the file with the code, break the formatting of this file, and then after pressing Alt Command K, as we can see, formatting was applied. Moving on, and the next keyboard shortcut will be Command MW, and for this set of keys, I'm going to bind the following command wrap with abbreviation. This is the command of the Emmet plugin, which allows us to quickly type in HTML markup. But what this specific command will allow us to do is to actually quickly wrap the tag which is currently under the cursor in another tag. So let's see it in action. For example, in here, I would like to wrap this div element in another div element with a class of wrapper. And as we can see, the parent div element with a class of wrapper was created. Let's move on. The next keyboard shortcut will be also bound to one of the Emmet commands. And in this case, keyboard shortcut command MR will allow us to modify the tag name under the cursor. Basically, rename the tag. So again, in here, I'm going to position the cursor on top of this div tag. And when pressing keyboard shortcut command MR, as we can see, such dialog appears where we can type in the new tag name. And after pressing Enter, this tag was renamed. The next keyboard shortcut is going to be used to quickly remove the tag under the cursor. So I'm using keyboard shortcut command M backspace. The common name in this case will be remove tag. And if we want to quickly remove the tag under the cursor, we just need to press command backspace, and as we can see, the whole tag was removed. And the next keyboard shortcut we're going to define in this lesson will be used to match the opposite tag. So for example, if we need to quickly jump in from the beginning of the tag to the end of the tag, or vice versa, we can just press keyboard shortcut command M M. So in here, let's say I would like to quickly jump into the closing body tag. Firstly, I need to position my cursor at the opening tag and then press Command MM. And as we can see, cursor was jumped to the closing tag. And if we'll continue pressing Command MM, we'll be jumping between opening and closing tags. In the next lesson, we'll be focusing on another group of keyboard shortcuts.